Hey everybody, it's John again. I'm out here on a nice evening and today I'm going to cook chili in a cast iron Dutch oven over the fire. So I hope you'll join me on this adventure. It's going to be fun. It's a nice night and uh, I've got my special chili recipe that I'm going to use. It's a little bit different from what most people are probably used to, but if you try to duplicate it yourself, I think you'll like it just fine. All right. All right, well, first off, before we can even get started cooking, in addition to getting that fire going, and it needs a few more minutes, we gotta get some light on the subject here. So. love these old Coleman lanterns. It's a little bit better. I think one of the things I like most about them is the sound. Just that reassuring, steady sound. It takes me back to when I was a kid. On the beach, out in the woods. Just that steady sound, that steady light on a dark night. It's really soothing and relaxing. Like I said, this brings back a lot of memories. And there's a creek that runs way down at the bottom of this property. And I was hoping y'all could hear it, but it looks like they've stopped. Uh, it's pretty wooded right through here. But if you keep going down about 75 yards, it comes down to a creek. And on the other side of that creek is an open area where some power lines run through. And then it goes back out to some more houses. At any rate, about this time of night and various times through the night, you can hear the coyotes. There's a pack of coyotes down there. And I just heard them. And they'll go to yelping. And then the dogs down there will go to yelping and hollering at them. And they'll go back and forth for a while. So they were just doing that, but just for a minute. I was hoping they'd start doing it again. No such luck. You can hear the highway about a mile over that direction. It carries through these woods pretty good. Be able to hear them. 
go down there hollering them coyotes again. I don't know whether this camera's picking it up or not. I've got a microphone, but I haven't plugged it into the camera. I'm actually using my Galaxy S9 for recording tonight. Getting her preheated. Getting ready to start cooking. All right, I think it's heated up pretty good. So now we're gonna move on. This cast iron gets hot, so you gotta be really careful with it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pound of hamburger meat in there. Give or take, I think this was 1.2 or something like that. You can't ever get them at exactly one pound, but that's okay. And then in my chili, I put a pound of just plain pork sausage. Any kind of work. I usually just get the cheapest stuff they have on the shelf. Now, the name of the game, when you're cooking chili, or stew, or gumbo, or a lot of your soups, not all soups, but a lot of them, is low and slow. A lot of people like to cook them as fast as they can to hurry up and eat dinner. I get that. But mark my words, slow and slow is the way to go. Now you can chop your meat up as small as you want to. I don't like it too small, but I don't like big chunks either. Just kind of a medium top, just to get it going. And 
I'm gonna leave that uncovered for just a minute because it's not going cooking quite a bit yet. I may have to adjust the coals and get some more up underneath that pot. So I'm gonna let that go for a minute and I'll get back with you. So that meat's coming along pretty good. It's going a little bit slower, but it's because I don't have the coals right. But it's getting there. Uh, but while that's cooking down, I'll talk a little bit about chili. And in my research, nobody really knows for sure the exact start of what we call modern day chili that we eat. But what the history seems to show is that it started somewhere in South Texas, maybe Northern Mexico. And what they would do is take beef, generally, you can use other meats, and cut it up really small. It wasn't ground like we do today. Cut it to some really small chunks and cook it down with some peppers, wild peppers that you could find on the road on the side of the road, excuse me, not in the road, uh, on the side of the road, and some other spices and seasonings. And they didn't put tomatoes or tomato sauce in it, and they didn't put beans in it. Beans, you would generally serve on the side with the chili. And I'll do another video of me making just a traditional historical chili. I'm, I'm really into researching how people ate hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago. It's one of my things that I like to research. Uh, now when I'm cooking for the family or friends or other people, I'll go ahead and put a can of some chopped tomatoes in there and some beans, not too much. I don't like a lot of beans. Anyway. But when I make my traditional chili, I don't put any of that in there. I'll serve beans on the side. So I don't want to get too much into the history of a traditional chili. And nowadays, there's a lot of people, they, oh man, people will argue and fight and get angry about what chili is and what chili isn't. But nowadays, pretty much anything you can cook, you call chili. But I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who disagree with me on, on my take of a historical chili. That's fine. But that's just the research that I've done. So... We'll let this go a little bit longer and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, looks like those coals are going a lot better now. That meat's cooked. We drain the grease off of it. And next thing I put in there is some garlic. And I cheat. I use the minced garlic because I use so much of it. And you can put however much you want in there. I like about, about two tablespoons of garlic. And then I'm just going to let that cook in for just a minute, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, looks like that garlic has cooked down just a little bit. Just want to let it go for a few minutes. It doesn't have to go for too long. And now what I'm going to do is add my vegetables, and you can add, you know, whatever kind of vegetables you like. I will. I usually cut up one whole bell pepper, one whole onion, and today I'm using a red onion do the first time normally I use a sweet onion and one just one jalapeno I take the seeds and the membranes out cut it up I don't want it too hot you know a little spice and I'll add some more spice later on as you see but um, just one green jalapeno out of the grocery Alright, we'll give that a little stir. We'll let that go for a bit.
Now I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on it. I'm going to leave it cracked a tad bit. As much as, I, as possible, I want some of that smoke from the fire to get in there. It's going to give it a nice flavor. But I do want it to... I do want it to cook. And we'll come back and check it here in just a few minutes. Alright, so we've went ahead and let these vegetables cook down a little bit. And what I'm going to do next is, like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and put some tomatoes in it. The traditional chili, like they cooked hundreds of years ago, they didn't put tomatoes or tomato sauce in it. But a lot of people like it. They like the flavor of it. So we're going to put a can of crushed tomatoes in here. And then what I'm going to do is take some water. And I'm going to swish that around and pour some water in there just to add a little bit more uh, a little bit more water to the mixture and then we'll let that cook for just another minute and then we'll move on to the next step all right guys so it's been a few minutes and I've been letting this cook uh, like I said I put the tomatoes in and some water and it's gonna need a little bit more but this next point here what we're gonna do and <laughs> We'll see if I can do this with two hands. I really need an extra set of hands. But I'm gonna add a little bit of chipotles. And this is a can of chipotles in adobe sauce. Now, everyone knows chipotle. We go, there's a restaurant called Chipotle. There's, everyone's got on their menu, chipotle, chipotle this. And what chipotles are, they're jalapeno peppers. And they've been allowed to fully ripen, so they're red, and then they're smoked. So that's what chipotles are, and they add an awesome flavor to any dish. And I like putting them in my chili. They don't add a lot of heat, but they add a lot of punch as far as flavor goes. So. You can add as much as you want. I usually throw in like two, three chipotles. And we'll let them cook down good. And then I'm gonna start adding some seasonings. So I like to put just straight up chili powder in my in my chili Duh. but even though I, I put some peppers in there I like the flavor of just chili powder now be careful how much you put you know if you depending on how spicy you want it but the great thing about chili powder is that it's not super spicy And then I will add some thyme, thyme leaves. And then the secret ingredient. This is what makes any kind of uh, Mexican cooking Latin American, South American, whatever. Chili. Cumin. <laughs> Sorry about that. Cumin. This is what makes it. You add as much as you like. I add a lot of cumin. To me, this is the flavor that makes it or breaks it. I add a lot. And once you throw it in there, you can start smelling it. And it smells wonderful. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna let that cook for a minute. 
and then we'll get back to you. Alright guys, so this here chili is going pretty good. Down to the last little bit. And I'm going to add a can of beans. And I like these ranch style beans. And you can use whatever you want. But I like these ranch style beans. And what I'm going to do is put this in here. And then, just like with the tomatoes, I'm going to get a little water. And rinse that out, get all the goodness out of it. And add a little more water to the chili. And then what you want to do is just let it slow simmer. As long as you want. Like I said, at the beginning of this video, low and slow. Let it simmer for a while. The longer you let it simmer, the better it's going to be. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. This is the last ingredient. Adjust your seasonings how you like. But I guarantee you it's going to be good. You'll love it. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, press the thumbs up button to like it. And then down below, hit the subscribe button. And when the little bell comes up, hit all. That way you can get all my future videos. See you on the next one. Goodbye. Stay safe. Good night.